What's up, Mountain 17 Gamers? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Cody, and what I want to do today is share with you a quick little tip that you can use to beat cover two. And really, I think it's a, it's a unique concept that uh, might be interesting to explore a little bit more, so I want to share it with you today. And that is delay route. So with a patch that Madden 17 did, what happens is whenever you motion someone out and they set, when you snap the ball, there's a little bit of a delay. So I'm gonna use a specific play to show this, but I would experiment with this with different types of routes and different things. So the play we're gonna use is stick. You can also use mesh to do this concept. Um, but in my opinion, you can actually do it from several, several other uh, plays, but we're gonna show you from picking stick. Okay, so what stick has is it has this far left receiver on a corner route. Now, most of us know of this concept because we watch competitive Madden and you would have seen Skimbo do this. So what happens is if we motion Des Bryant out, if I snap the ball right as he gets outside, he's gonna kind of delay and then run his route. Now the reason that it's unique is it gives us a completely different option when it comes to running plays. Because now we can incorporate what would you know kind of be a delay route into maybe even a primary route because most people play zone coverage and for some reason the delay route has a really, really good effect against zone coverage. It's also unbumpable, which is interesting uh, to get into. So anyways, guys, before we get into this, what I wanna share with, really quickly encourage you to do is ask questions. Okay, uh, this is gonna be a very short, terse video, and the only way that you're really gonna get better in Madden 17 is if you ask questions. Now, I believe this is one of the best plays in Madden 17, if not the best route for attacking cover two that nobody really knows about. Because everybody knows about um, running Z spot, and if we just kinda wait back, you'll see this guy comes open, and we can, we can aggressive catch that. Everybody kinda knows at that, that, that at this point. What this route's gonna allow us to do is, it's going to allow us to have a corner route that really is gonna attack the defense at a different point, and they're gonna have to kind of think about maybe usering that. And if I can get you out of the middle of the field and force you to user one of the sidelines, all of a sudden it just completely changes the game. So that's why I think this route's so important. Anyways, back to the tip here. So we're gonna max protect. Okay, the only reason I do that is because you need a little bit of time to get this route open. I recommend putting Cole Beasley on either a streak or if you don't want to run a streak, you can smart route him. But in my opinion, it's just not going to work right. Unless it's, I mean, again, zone, he's going to stop anyway. So you can do a bunch of things with Cole Beasley, whatever you think is important. But this is kind of the way I run it. I just streak Cole Beasley and I max protect. And you're going to motion Des Bryant to the outside and you're gonna snap it right as he sets. Now, once he comes out and comes to his break, you're gonna throw a hard left pass lead and it's gonna be a back shoulder possess possession catch as you see. Now, what's important about this is to show this once they hard flat. So against a hard flat, what that's gonna mean is same kind of concept, but once he starts going, you're gonna pass lead him up instead of pass leading him to the outside. So just a little bit of a different pass lead. Uh, let's see if we can not get killed by the pass rush here. And normally you won't have to worry about this, but pass lead him up and then just possession catch it. As you can see, it's gonna be one of those kind of back shoulder uh, catches. Now, if you wanted to deal with the hard flat, you could put Williams on a drag. And at the time that he's gonna get across, you'll be about at a point where you can really kind of pass lead that up. But what I like to do is high point, pass lead, and I like to pass lead up, okay? And that's against the hard flat. So we'll show this one more, a couple more times here. We'll show it one more time with the high pass lead up. So there's that high pass lead up, back shoulder catch. They really can't do a whole lot against that. What else you could try, and I haven't tried this yet, so I don't know if this will work. But let's just say, let's just throw it right at him and see what happens. And you see it's going to be an aggressive. So nothing, not something we really want to face. So the hardest defense to face with this is going to be the hard flat. Um, but you can beat the hard flat if with just a simple high pass lead up. 
So if you see that corner come down on him, just high pass lead him up once he cuts. Again, you know, you need time in the, a little bit of time in the pocket. Um, I would recommend a video that I'll be doing later on this week about how to really work the pocket and step up. But And I think that's one of the most underrated tips that you'll find. We'll show you this one more time. For some reason, we're having some trouble here with the accuracy of the quarterback. And then I want to show it to you against Tampa 2 because Tampa 2 is kind of the other primary defense you'll see uh, if you're playing. But once he cuts, pass lead up. And as you can see, it's just a, a quick little one-on-one. -on -one. If you wait a little longer, if you have a little bit more time in the pocket, you'll see that this route works even better. Um, again, you want to be able to step up, kind of give him a little bit of space. So pocket, pocket presence, step up, pass lead inside and up. And as you can see, there you see that nice possession catch. Okay, so the final thing I want to show you is against the cloud flat, which is a Tampa 2 coverage. And this is probably the most conservative of all of the Tampa 2 coverages, or all of the cover 2 coverages. Same exact concept, motion him out. And what you're going to see here is just wide open right there. Right, that quick little... Tampa 2 actually probably does a decent job as well. Uh, the cover 2 sink has a, has a pretty rough time, though, against this. And that's what most people are running. But here we'll show you. Right there, that quick out pass is what we're looking for. So, and then in the case that they run a Tampa 2, one thing you could also try if you wanted to is putting Witten on a zig. If you wanted to get him out and let him run, let him run a route, because uh, it's just, it's just going to make this more open. But it's just, again, that quick possession catch to the outside is what you're looking for. Nothing too complicated here. Not a whole lot of usering that needs to go on, but it's got to be a possession catch. That is the key. Um, and one thing that people probably will make the mistake of, so real quick, one of the common mistakes with this route is going to be people that want to try to get him going quick. You want him to let him set up and then go so that he delays. The delay is important because it's going to get you more spacing when we're talking about getting open. Okay. So in my opinion, if you're facing the hard flat, and we'll show you this here with the zig it's actually going to be whoops i forgot to put I forgot to put him on the corner route with the zig route to the tight end it's actually going to be even better against a hard flat coverage because what's going to happen is that zig is going to suck down that hard flat it's going to give you a little bit more of an opening cuz he's going to have to honor that okay so and again you know it's time in the pocket is key so you want to be establishing something else. Just dropping back, though, is not a good idea. But as you can see there, that high pass lead is wide open at this point. Also, what you can do, especially if you have the zig to the tight end, which the zig is a really good um, thing to have unless you just unless they're just blitzing the crap out of you. But it, it just gives you a little bit more of an opening. For some reason, in practice mode, they always do this where they, they really get – it gets really dicey. <laughs> But let Des Bryant kind of start to set and then go so that he gets a nice release. And as you can see, a pass lead strong inside is going to be really, really good, especially if they if they hard flat. Okay, so that's pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys today. Do me a favor. If you liked this video, please share it with somebody. Um, just send it in a quick text or a quick Facebook post or something. Get this video in the hands of other people. I would greatly appreciate it. And one last favor, if you like the video, let me know why in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for your time.